Hi and welcome to module number five. We are covering another lab, which is a guided lab on introducing Amazon Elastic File System, which we call it as EFS as well. Now first try to understand what is EFS. It's a fully managed serverless file storage service that you can use with Amazon EC2 containers and other Amazon Web Services compute resources. Unlike the traditional storage, it automatically grows and shrinks as you add or remove the files. So you don't have to worry about managing the capacity. So in this lab, we'll explore how can we create and configure EFS systems. We can connect it to EC2 instances and see how multiple instances can share the same file system at the same time. Uh, this hands-on lab exercise is designed to demonstrate how EFS makes it simple to provide scalable shared storage in the cloud with minimum administration. That's what they are talking about over here. The duration of it would be 30 minutes. Uh, and then we'll be starting from creating a security group to access our EFS file system. So in our first test, they are asking creating a security group to access your EFS file system. In this one, they are saying to go to EC2 and then choose the security group. Um, security group ID would be there and then note down the security group ID and uh, follow the rest of this stuff. So first of all, we'll go to the um, canvas or the actual console of it. So once you're here, click on EC2 and click on EC2 instance. And then look on your left hand side, you'll find security groups under network security. Click on that one. And here you can see the EFS client, click on this one. So since they asked us to copy the security group ID, note that it would be different in your case. We'll copy it and we'll paste it on a notepad. So copy down the security group ID. Next they are saying choose and create a security group and then create a security group name. So we'll copy this information also from here and we'll paste it on our notepad so that we can paste it later. So once it's copied, we'll go back to our security groups and now we'll create a security group and for that you'll click on create security group. Then we'll go to our notepad file and we'll copy the EFS mount target as the security group name from here and we'll paste it here and then we'll go back to the notepad file and look for the description of it paste it here and then they are saying in VPC select lab VPC and for VPC we'll select lab.vpc. Next is they are saying that under the inbound rules add a rule and type NFS and then in the source click custom and then paste the security group ID that we copied earlier and then create a security group. So we'll click on add a rule and then look for NFS in this one. So in the search field, you can type NFS. Then we'll keep source as custom and we'll copy the security group ID from here that we copied earlier and we'll paste it in here. Once that's done, just scroll down and hit create security group. Now, as you can see, it has shown that a security group has been created. Now let's read the requirements for task number two, creating an EFS file system. They are saying choose and create a file system that create a file system, click on customize. Make sure that you have unchecked enable automatic backups. Then we'll go to lifecycle management and in that one we'll select none and then tags as name and our first file system. So I'll copy it again from here and I'll keep a note of these details also. So since we are working on EFS, we'll have to search for EFS, Managed File Storage for EC2. And click on Create File System. So we'll not make any changes over here. We'll just click on Customize. So as they were saying, uh, uncheck this thing, Automatic Backup. So we'll uncheck it. And then in Lifecycle Management, we'll select None. Then we'll scroll down and they asked us to add the ta tags here. So we'll type uh, name here as they asked us, um, as we noted down earlier. And for the value, if we'll press my first EFS file system and press next. Here in network, 
you'll select your lab VPC. So as you can see that it has automatically selected the default one, but we want to select our security group, which is EFS mount target. I'll select it and uncheck this one. And same goes for this one. I'm going to select the first one and uncheck the default one. After that, I'll select next. I'm not going to make any changes here. Press next again, just review whatever changes you have made and then click on create. So we completed up to here. Now we are continuing connecting to you uh, your EC2 instance and they are saying that click on AWS details and copy the URL from there. And then we'll be performing certain operations on shell. So we'll click on AWS details and we'll copy the URL which is over here. And then just open another tab on your browser and paste the URL you'll get something similar to this one. After that, they're saying to copy some of the commands from here and run it over there. So we'll copy the commands from here. So we'll paste the first command in here, press enter. Now paste the second command here as well and press enter. Next, they're saying um, copy this command and paste it over there. So we'll paste this command here. Next they are saying go back to your console and uh, click on my first EFS file system. So you're here, Amazon EFS, click on my first EFS file system and then click on attach. And we'll copy this URL from here and paste the URL in here. Press enter. In next step, they are saying to copy this command also and run in run it in your console. So we'll paste this command here and press enter. As you can see that it's telling us about the disk file system. Now next step is examining the performance behavior of your new EFS file system. So in that one, they are saying that copy and paste this command. We'll copy it and then we will paste it here and press enter. Now, as you can see that it's working on it, so we'll wait for a while. In next step, they are saying monitor the performance by going to CloudWatch. So we'll close this one and we'll type in here CloudWatch and then click on this one. In this one, you'll click on metrics and click on all metrics. Meanwhile, if we'll go to our command line interface, the last uh, command that we pasted up here, it has been successfully completed. And out of all these metrics, we'll be clicking on EFS and then click on file system metrics. That's what we are doing as mentioned over here. And then they are saying go to permitted throughput. So as we can see it over here. So it depends for how long uh, you have configured it as it's showing that on the Y axis bias in the line graph, you could see the activity on that. And they are saying just perform the same operation for the permitted throughput and look at the data write IO bytes. Further, if you want to see and it has been running over a period of time, you can click on 3 hours, 12 hours, 1 day and so on. Depends for how long it has been up. And look for other options in this one, which is permitted and options. And once that's done, you'll just complete the lab and submit it. So that was about module number five, guided lab on introducing Amazon Elastic File System. You can f explore it further as they are saying data rights, IO blocks and check different statistics that if you are getting any information for them or not. So that was our lab. I hope you understood it. That's it for today. Thank you very much.